What's up, weirdo? Shade Tree Surgeon here up at Tampa Triumph, if you couldn't tell, and today is going to be a very special episode. I know there's a whole lot of you guys who are subscribed to this channel, probably a whole lot of you who are watching right now, who the only reason that you found the Shade Tree Surgeon channel is because of the video I did on the commercial for the Triumph Bobber. Instead of calling it the Bonneville Bobber, you should have called it the Bonneville Mullet. The new Bonneville Mullet, business in the front, party in the back. If you haven't seen that video, of course, I'll have a link down in the description, but needless to say, I wasn't the biggest fan of old Fred and Steve in the Triumph Bobber commercial. Okay, first off, how the fuck did you manage to get your bike into your upstairs living room apartment? And second off, who the f wears a t-shirt with the exact picture of the bike they're riding on it while they're riding it. In fact, I wasn't the biggest fan of the bobber either. I think I called it the mullet of motorcycles. After uh, Triumph did away with the old 865 engine, came out with new Bonnevilles, you know, we owned a Speedmaster. I was always a Speedmaster fan, and when the Triumph bobber came out, I would just, eh, it wasn't my style. And then was just this, this super finished cool guy commercial they did of everybody racing in factories and keeping their motorcycles in their apartments, it just really wasn't my thing. And honestly, my biggest problem with the Bobber was that it's a factory custom, that they're giving you this bike and they're telling you, this is the way it's supposed to look. And if you like the way it looks, that's fine, but personally, I don't like that tractor style seat. I like motorcycles to have a traditional rear fender, I like to be able to have a pillion pad there, I like sissy bars, that's the kind of stuff that I personally like. So, of course the Bobber is not going to be for me. Anyway, had my fun with the commercial and stuff like that is probably why I will never ever be sponsored by Triumph. In fact, I've got it on good authority that uh, the, some of the head guys at Triumph saw that video and did not find it funny. But that's the kind of stuff, that's the kind of stuff I do here. So if that means I never get a sponsorship, so be it. But fast forward a couple of years later after the Triumph Bobber has come out and I will be totally honest with you, after seeing them in person, the motorcycle actually has grown on me a little bit. And it's finally time for me to actually test ride one of these things that I've talked so much crap about. We got one uh, Bobber Black right back here. I'm not sure if that's the exact one I'm going to be test riding today. But, you know, I can't talk all this crap about a motorcycle and not actually ride it. And I just, it's also worth saying that uh, I, the, it's grown on me. It's not a motorcycle I would personally own, but I can really see why people like it. The commercial is still absolutely ridiculous, but that just because it has a ridiculous commercial doesn't make it a bad motorcycle. And yeah, I get a lot of people who message me sometimes and they say stuff like, well, oh, I love your videos, but uh, you know, I, sorry, I, I like the Triumph Bobber or I bought a Triumph Bobber and they're almost like apologetic. Let me tell you, dude, look at, the, look at this dipshit right right here. I've got four gold teeth, a ridiculous wizard beard, covered in tattoos. You think I know everything about style? Like, if you like something, don't let what I think about it stop you from getting it, because obviously, I, I don't know everything when it comes to what looks good. I just know what I like. But anyway, that's enough yakking. Let's actually ride a Triumph Bobber, because I have talked at length about them. But talking about a bike is never the same as actually throwing a leg over one. So let's see what this thing's made of. The time has come. It's finally time to throw a leg over the bobber. Now, here's the thing about the new Triumph motorcycles. And uh, trust me, I love the old ones. What really is impressive about these, about all of them, is that the fit and finish on all these bikes is so much higher than it was on the old one. So even though it's not my style, it's still really hard to hate this motorcycle once you see it in person. Like I said, this ass end, this whole deal, that ain't me, baby. <laughs> That's, uh, I still don't like that, but I can't deny that it's not a good looking motorcycle and it's not well put together. You look at it and you're like, man, this is a obviously done at a much higher quality than the old 865cc Triumphs were. Ooh, I'm a wanted man. <laughs> 
that commercial. I'm not, I'm not taking that back. I might say I like the way the bobber looks now, but I'm not taking back that that was a absolutely ridiculous commercial. Give me a freaking break. <laughs> Again, I knew this was going to happen. I knew this is exactly what would happen because you can't get on a brand new motorcycle and not immediately have a shitty grin plastered across your face. And holy moly, dude, this thing has got power. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. That is no joke, man. I can't even imagine what it would sound like with some exhaust, although I'm sure there's plenty of YouTube videos on it. Uh, yeah, it, it feels great. This is a great motorcycle. I have my opinions about a lot of things, and especially factory customs. In my eyes, try and really redeem themselves by coming out with the Speedmaster, and you can get a regular T120, so you can still get this bike without the tractor seat on it. That's what the Speedmaster is. The Speedmaster is this bike with the same engine, but just set up a little more normal. The seat is not my thing. But again, just because it's not my thing does not mean it can't be your thing. And that's really why I wanted to get on the bike and freaking ride it around today, because I just... Oh man, there's no doubt in my mind, this thing would rip a wheelie if you asked it to. So yeah, back, back on course. That's really why I wanted to do the test ride today is because again, I actually had somebody come up to the bar on a bobber. They were a fan of the channel. They came up to see me and they were just like almost saying, oh yeah, I was almost afraid to park it out back because I know how you feel about the bobber. And I'm like, man, that's not what I want people to think about me. It's not what I want people to think about my channel. I don't want you to think that you have to do exactly what I do or like exactly the same things I like. And just because I don't like the way a motorcycle looks doesn't mean it isn't a badass bike. Who the hell am I, man? And <laughs> look at me on this thing right now. This bike is freaking dope. Although I'll tell you, I just can't get Fred and Steve and, <laughs> and a wanted man with blood on my hands and them racing in, in an abandoned factory co slash coffee shop. I'm actually annoyed at how much I like this. Like, trust me, I, I knew I was going to like it. Once again, it's a, it's a brand new motorcycle with a 1200cc twin in it. Of course I'm going to like it but i'm annoyed at how much i like it <laughs> this is really nice uh, it's still not ever gonna be uh my thing style wise but god just riding it around i'm like this is this is dope this is a world-class motorcycle man so much more power than the old 865 does like so much more power it's not even funny and you might be jumping on this thing saying you know this is an old school bobber with a tractor seat this is going to be a this is going to be slow uh, if you get on this bike thinking that you will be sorely mistaken because let me tell you if you underestimate this motorcycle, I'll tell you right now, you could probably get yourself into a spot of trouble because it is it is fast. This motorcycle is no joke. Oh, I could go over all the facts and figures and specs, but uh, I'm not going to. I don't know. It's fast. I imagine it probably makes like 100 horsepower or something like that. That's usually about, I imagine, what a 1200cc uh, twin should make is right around 100 horsepower. But the torque is what you really care about. And it's got gobs of that. Now, today's video is less about actually doing a review or test riding a Triumph Bobber. And it is about me getting on this bike because I want to tell you guys... But don't let anybody else, especially me, because that will break my heart, don't let anybody else tell you what you should think is cool, okay? If you like this bike, fucking, if, and you can afford it, obviously, but if you like this bike and you can afford it, buy one and fuck everybody else. And I say this pretty often, and guys who don't watch every single one of my videos probably miss this and probably think I'm an asshole, but if you've only seen one or two of my videos, you probably don't have a very good idea of who I am. Hell, even if you've seen all of my videos, I'm pretty honest, but you could have still missed stuff. But I really, I try to say all the time, I don't let me tell you 
Don't let me tell you what what's cool. You know, I can say what I like. I can say what I like about motorcycles. I can say what I enjoy about them. I can say what I think is cool and what I don't think is cool. I can say what I think is a good idea and what I think is a bad idea. But at the end of the day, I'm just some fucking dude. Who the fuck am I to tell tell anybody else what's what's cool and what's good? And I, I got this comment a lot in the video. People were like, well, you were obviously wrong about the bobber because Triumph is selling tons of them. They sell tons of these bikes, by the way, because it is awesome and whoo, it's fast. And they were getting on me. They're going like, you were wrong. And I'm like, how, how could I be wrong? The video wasn't about whether it was a good idea or whether it was a good bike, it was just about what I thought about it and less about what I thought about it, more just me making fun of that stupid ass commercial. That, I'll go ahead on record and say, yeah, that was a bad move. And even though the bobber thing isn't my style, obviously it's a lot of other people's style. Like I, if I was gonna buy one of these, if I was gonna buy a brand new Triumph, it would probably be the Scrambler. Either the Scrambler or just like a regular old T120. Uh, either one of those, but probably the Scrambler, like if I was going to buy a new one. And I still, like, sometimes I get that itch. I'm just like, man, I maybe I should trade the, the douche Cotty in on a Scrambler and start riding that around. And we'll, we'll see what happens, maybe one day. But again, like, uh, don't, don't, don't listen to me. <laughs> My videos are here to make you laugh. They're not here to make you think exactly the way that I think. How boring would that be if everybody just liked the same shit? Like, if everybody out there just liked all the same shit I did, I would be bored out of my mind. Come on. Uh, dude, this 1200cc engine that Triumph has created is absolutely amazing. What a gem of an engine. Pulls great in high gear. Freaking explodes off the line. It is really awesome even if this is the mullet of motorcycles. <laughs> I should probably say that it handles well too, but I mean, it's a, it's a brand new motorcycle. Of course it does. It does everything well. It's a brand new bike. Of course it's awesome. I hate that. People are like, oh, this brand new bike. Like, it's great. Yeah, it's a brand new motorcycle. It's 2019. Motorcycles don't have any excuse to not be awesome. Ah, that wouldn't get old for a long time. Just ripping, on, ripping on that throttle, I don't think would ever get old. This is why I'm a twin guy, not a four-cylinder guy. I just, I, I like, I like that pull off the line. If this is the bike you like, don't let the fact that it's not the bike for me uh, dissuade you from getting one because it's an awesome motorcycle. I just am an incredibly opinionated asshole. That's what I do on YouTube is just share my very opinionated, <laughs> very rude, uh, incredibly uneducated opinions. That's that's my kind of my shtick, guys. So, and again, like I've I've said before, this is not a sponsored video. They didn't ask me to make this video. I don't get paid to make these videos. They're literally the reason I wanted to come here and test ride a Triumph bobber after I talked all that smack about one is literally because of a guy, and I forget his name, I'm so sorry, that came up to my bar and was apologetic to me for buying one. I mean, the idea that someone previously liked the bobber and then saw my video and is like, well, now I don't like it because he liked it, or that someone bought one and then is worried that for some reason I'm going to judge them because they bought it, to me, that that's heart. I, I don't. That's heartbreaking. That breaks my freaking heart. Like, don't be weird. That's my message. Be a fucking weirdo. And how much? How weird is it to buy a bike that I don't like? <laughs> Knock yourself out. Here's proof. If you want it, Yama Gang, one of my closest friends, he's actually thinking about trading in his R6 on a bobber. So this is one of my closest friends that I hang out with all the time. So trust me. If you like the bike buy the bike. And I can honestly say, now that I've ridden one around, this is an awesome bike. Still looks like a mullet to me, but hey, that's just me. So till next time, y'all, keep it weird.